best idea I had, and uh, thanks to, to that that I'm sitting here today with you, is the Black Diamonds. <laughs> Faraz Grossi, as the founder of Degrees Ogrono, can you talk us through founding the brand? Well, uh, I found the brand uh, in 1993 and um, the idea was just to buy and sell jewellery, uh, open the shop at 9 o'clock, close it at 1, open at 3 and go home at 6. And unfortunately after a few years, um, things did change and I find myself uh, in, in, the, in the time frame of I would say five years, uh, we already had four or five shops. And um, unfortunately, my dream to to have a quite relaxing business uh, was over. And uh, actually, thanks to the beginning, I never thought to, to reach this point. Uh, my life's changed. Um, basically, just to give an idea, in 22 years, 23 years, and I had vacation maybe all together for a couple of months. So that's why it ruined my life, but I'm very happy that I've been able to do that. And can you talk us through the creative process behind the jewellery? Well, you see, uh, a lot of people think that I'm designing um, every day. Uh, actually, I'm not. Uh, I'm not the typical designer or creator, if you want, that sit down on the desk and uh, with the pens try to come out with some idea by designing. Um, I would say Whatever it surrounds me can be objects, can be flowers, can be the sea, the sky. Anything around me gives me an idea about a form and, and how to, to mix uh, color stones. And um, I did this um, the way I was thinking at the beginning. Uh, the company was really very, very small. and. Uh, but I really wanted to do something which was important, although it was just a dream in, in my head. But actually, I decided to go against the odds at the time. Uh, 1993, 94, 95, everybody, they were doing uh, minimalist jewelry. They were the usual uh, platinum, white gold, uh, yellow gold, uh, etc. They were using traditional stones like uh, traditional diamonds, uh, ruby, sapphire, emerald. And I decided to go against all of that. Uh, it was the only way probably I could uh, achieve something. So I started to design bold things, quite big, extravagant, uh, to the point I was extremely uh, criticized by all the other neighbors, I mean the other jewelers. Best idea I had, and uh, thanks to, to that that I'm sitting here today with you, is the Black Diamonds. If the Black Diamonds they were not in my life, probably I was not here today. The fact that I started to use something was totally unusual, uh, and I was finally accepted from, from the public. So I understood one thing, that clients or potential clients, they were fed up to see the same things. And um, I remember I had few clients, they, they, they start to buy in our shop, first shop, saying, thanks God there is somebody that does, some, does something different because, you know, I, I bought a lot of jewelry, but they all look the same. And finally something which is totally unusual, different, and, um, and the success went in that direction. Um, I decided then, uh, due to the fact that Black Diamonds had success, I came out with a diamond which I named Icy Diamonds, which is not uh, in the gemological books. And um, there was a white diamonds, but was milkish, not transparent. And I found it extremely elegant and chic. So I started to do this kind of collection. And uh, the results, the success came immediately because the market started to, start to believe me in, in, as a creator. And for years, your jewelry has been described as appealing and exciting and innovative and new. So what inspires you? Do you have a muse at all? i tell you, one of the examples I can give you is, um, like many other people, I never give importance, I never really look with attention to the nature. And it happened one day, I was in Tuscany, I was in the countryside with some friends, and uh, I was walking. Uh, I never do sport, but I was walking that time. And uh, I started to realize, look at the color, for example, there, there were some brownish color or uh, 
orange color, green color, lighter, stronger. And uh, that's the, 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 the moment I had the idea why not mix in those, all of these kind of colors. So when I started to do these kind of collections, I used to, and I still do, uh, mixing uh, precious with semi-precious. And actually I hate this word uh, semi-precious because you know, there are all those many beautiful stones that come from the same place down to earth. But let's keep it as a semi-precious. And um, I have to say, since after a year or two, uh, I saw around the worldwide market, there was an influence from our side that you could dare to dare to be bold, to be big, and, uh, and to mix uh, unusual uh, different colors. So um, at the beginning, I, I was a little bit upset, but I guess um, I guess was a good, um, I should not have been upset because, you know, if I was not doing something unusual that people liked, uh, probably I was not successful. 